Tampa, let's go drive a Ferrari with Michael B. Jordan. Damn. Maybe you can buff that out. Michael B. Jordan wrecked his Ferrari this weekend. He sideswiped this parked Kia on, I think it was on Sunset Boulevard. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Unless you count the cars, because they got pretty hurt. So, the cops showed up and they did talk to Michael B. But they didn't cite him for anything. They did not do a field sobriety test because he showed no signs of impairment. We do know this. The cops, when they got there, said to him, what happened? He didn't answer. Well, maybe he caught his reflection in the rear view and was blinded by his own beauty. They didn't follow up and do like regular police investigating. There's nothing they can really do. As an example, if he were texting, that's an infraction still. So they need to witness it in order to make an arrest. Should they change this to where if, you, if you're in a bad crash like this, no matter what, field sobriety test, you have to have probable cause. Why not change the law then? Well, you mean get rid of the constitution. The constitution has nothing to do with this. There are all sorts of exceptions if you get a driver's license. And you can say as a condition to a driver's license, if you get in an accident that causes property damage, you have to submit to a field sobriety test. I'm not saying it's a good idea, I'm saying you could do it. Meantime, Michael B. Jordan is still out there, driving our streets and destroying Kias with impunity. Well, not complete impunity. Dude, that Kia owner is like, cha-ching! Yeah. <laughs> Glad you're okay, Michael. You drive safe.